charge here! Where is the air support? So, Gerard, I suspect you have a good reason for pulling me away from my duties. Your vodka can wait, my good Alexei. Come, stand here. You need to see this. I know all about this, Sir Gerard. We've all seen the tapes a hundred times. You've seen nothing. Dissecting a dead Zerg in a lab is one thing. Unleashing them on men is another. You must go into this with both eyes open. Once started, there's no going back. Are you prepared to go all the way with this, Alexei? Yes. Yes, I am prepared to go all the way, my good Admiral. Good. Good. I knew I could count on you. Admiral, the colonist base will be overrun in a matter of minutes. Shall we intervene? Take us into orbit, Mr. Malmsteen. We've seen enough. Welcome to StarCraft Brood War. That's what I'm doing next. Finishing off the StarCraft 1 campaign. And we're going to start it off with some uh, nice, slow UIs and uh, a nice Protoss campaign. Actually, just begin it. Greetings, Executor. Though we all grieve for the loss of mighty Tassadar, we must find the resolve to carry on. He sacrificed himself to destroy the Overmind, but many Zergs still rage across our ruined homeworld. Without the Conclave to lead us, or the protection of our great fleets, it seems we must fend for ourselves. And Eris is correct, Executor. As we have both seen, the Zerg will not halt their rampage until every last one of us is dead. I suggest that we retreat to our last functional warp gate and travel to where the Zerg cannot follow us. With all due respect, Zeratul, the Protoss do not run from their enemies. Ire is our homeworld. It is here that we shall make our stand. Just as your conclave did. They are dead now, Eldaris. Dead because they allowed their pride to blind their reason. Only if we learn from their mistakes can we live to avenge them. Now, Executor, I know of a place where we can find solace. It is Shakuras, the secret homeworld of my people, the Dark Templar. Your people? We would be seen as tyrants to them. Why would they shelter us? Have I not pledged myself to your cause? Not all beings are as unforgiving as your lamented conclave, Eldaris. You are right, of course. Executor, Zeratul shall find us passage to the warp gate. After the gate has been secured, Phoenix and the new Praetor Artanis shall lead our surviving brethren to Shakuras. Executor, I am Artanis. 
Though I have only recently been appointed Praetor, you can trust that I will uphold the honor and traditions of the Templar. We shall see. Hey boys, mind if we tag along? I figure you're heading anywhere has got to be better than staying here with the Zerg. Commander Raynor, as ever, your assistance is appreciated. We would be honored if you joined us. Well then. Hey guys, welcome to the StarCraft Brood War campaign. Pretty good expansion, you're good you're in for a really good story. So Zeratul happens to be very good at that, uh, but you know I wasn't really using him for that. I'm just gonna send him directly over there. I mean he has a cloak, so it's like the best thing you could possibly hope to use him for. I don't know why the rest of these guys are just attacking whatever. But anyways, uh, the story here is one of the few games I really like the story. I really, really like the story of this game. Uh, there's a crap ton of overlords there, actually. Maybe we should, like, head down this way. Kinda don't want to face a sunken colony. You know, I, may, I may not have a choice. Zeratul's kind of just derping and around, but he'll just go directly to that thing right here. There you go. Let's get send everyone to everything. Now, unlike uh, StarCraft 2, the uh, shields actually regenerate very slowly on the Protoss, so I have to kind of be careful of them. But yeah, this is the story of this game is absolutely fantastic, so you are in for a real treat. Okay, pull everyone back for a minute. To basically more close quarters, basically. Kind of a, an arrangement here. The Zerglings have more trouble getting us around, that's why I like to kind of like pull them back. You save more Zealots that way. Except Zeratul is kind of just messing around. I'm just gonna make him go directly up to these things here, though. Fortunately, something can see- they can actually see him. I'm wondering why. Because the, the problem with him is his shield doesn't actually re restart, so... Not that effectively, anyways. That's before they start doing Kung Fu. In, in their cutscenes. So I actually have way too many units. Like, I have actually more than I'm actually capable of selecting, because there is a 12 unit uh, limit, in case you weren't sure. But that just requires a bit more micro on my part, which is not too difficult. But, you know, I rarely say a story is good in any game, but in this case, I will actually say that. So. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not going to go on to that anymore. Don't worry about it. So right now we're just trying to get off uh, IR, Protoss, Homeworld, etc, etc. Because uh, the, the Zerg are busy being giant douchebags. And they've actually done a really good job with kind of like giving this, like for, for the time, this is like 98, 97. No, 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 StarCraft came out in 98, so this is like 99, 2000. Which is really weird, you know, this is, this is just a little bit over a decade old. And to me, like, obviously games have gone all 3D and all that, because this is still using, like, 2D sprites and stuff. Which is kind of neat, because, um, the way the StarCraft engine works, at least, is, um, uh-oh. We got, we got Ultralisks. Uh, they basically have pictures of every unit from every, from every angle, which is kind of neat. That's basically how it works, and so basically it just kind of takes which which angle that their unit is currently facing, kind of a thing, and that that's basically how StarCraft unit sprites work. It's well, it's sprites basically. Period. That sprites work the same in any game. Let's see what's up here. Oh, get over here. Their the heroes are not very useful. It is good to see more of our brethren on the battlefield. The reason I say heroes are not too useful is because you have to prevent them from dying. They do a lot of damage, but they're just like, you know, if they take a certain amount of damage, you kind of have to just leave them be. Because he's got like, he's already lost like about half of his effective health almost. Hey look, it's an Ultralisk cavern. 
Hopefully nothing spawns. So I've already talked about in my first playthrough most of the map editor stuff. I can go into a bit more things I didn't touch up upon. Uh, you know, things like that. There you go. Come on, Dragoon. You can fucking take out that Scourge. They're the laziest people. Alright, so this is what I'm going to do. Uh, group 1 will be all these guys. Group 2 will be these guys. I, I guess Group 3 will be these guys. And High Templar fall, fall up the rear. Should be really simple for us to get up all the way over here. Um, I'm not gonna go too much in the map editor stuff right now. I'll, I'll talk about it a little, bit, a little bit later, though. Trust me. But there will be time for that because my my Starcraft stuff tends to be a couple like 25 parts or so. As basically, I like these this burning building things that they have. It's it's just attention to detail in, in the maps for for its time. It's just amazing to me. Ah, uh, no need to size storm yet. No. Oh god. Get out of there. Alright, and we can bring the rest of these guys down here. He's about to die. Uh-oh. Uh, there we go. Okay, we have to prevent him from actually taking any more damage anymore. That's that's a bit of the risk you do take. Usually, I just actually would keep heroes in the back, but I'm 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 using them way more than I normally do. Where are those Where are those other zealots? Okay, you can be a part of Group One now. And dragoons have the absolute worst pathing ever. Like like check out the, check this out. There's actually, I have to show you the bridges when we see a bridge doodad. Oh god, they're horrible. It's Archon versus uh, Ultralisk, the, the most classic of uh, mashups. You know, surprisingly, I haven't really used these High Templars a whole lot. I thought I would. We have a very sizable force here. Yeah, but I'll show you the pathing of the dragons. Maybe actually going up this thing. Like they can't even navigate around units. Look at this. Like it's just they—they they take up the entire thing. Here, let me bring everybody here. They can't even make it past their own units. I think this is—I I think this is amazing. You should see this. Okay. Okay. Every. Well, I don't know why this is all that's going up there. Okay. Four four dragons up the same cliff. They—they they go, they go single file basically. Like he can't even make it down here anyways. Whatever. En enough showing that off. This is why they made stalkers in StarCraft 2. I have located the warp gate. We must hurry and evacuate the Kali survivors before the Zerg return. You address me. Alright, everyone into the warp gate. You know, we could have sent some we could have left something for him. Hey, can they go through the warp gate? <laughs> Start removing them. I want Rainer to come with me. Everybody loves Jimmy. Well, there you go. Entoro Tassadar, Executor. The survivors from Ire have made it safely through the gate. Yet, amidst the chaos of our retreat, we lost contact with Phoenix and Raynor. I fear that they may have been overrun by the Zerg. Fear not, Artanis. Phoenix is as stalwart a warrior as I have ever known, and the Terran Raynor has proven himself to be highly resourceful in the past. I for one believe that they made it here safely, but while we wait for word from them, we must reconnoiter the surrounding area and find a suitable location for a more permanent settlement. Once we're situated, 
we can begin to search for the Dark Templar. I never could fix this leg issue. Yeah, I don't even know if the probes should be coming with them. Zealot, scout ahead. Oh god, contact! Micro! Executor, there are Zerg on Shakuras. They must have taken control of the warp gate on Ire. Well, we'll just, uh, make our base. Because, uh, probably gonna need at least another pylon here. Remember what pylons do? They're food! The Protoss eat them. That's why the Protoss are such an interesting race. We can't kill these birds either. It's a Kakaroo. Kakaroo, yeah, it is a Kakaroo. It's, it sounded like it was something Dragon Ball Z related, but I guess not. <laughs> a cool looking bird, though. I can kind of like keep clicking on it and keep following it around, except it's going on the other side of the map. So this is one of the new tile sets, actually, that StarCraft uh, Brood War comes with. So it comes with uh, Twilight and Desert uh, uh, tile sets. These are tile sets like the, the way the map looks. Um, because realistically, the terrain for the entire game is basically the same. Uh, it just changes the the template of which it like each. It's like actually kind of cool because each one of these things is actually a square. That's how the the, the t terrain in Starcraft works. Uh, I was talking about it a little bit before about how sprites work, but this one just uses a whole map of of uh, of uh, little squares that it it swaps out. It's actually kind of amazing to me. Oh no, Hydralis. Oh god, we lost a probe. My economy! Retreat. Glad I am to see that you've returned home after these many decades. But the strange guests that have fallen to here seem ill tempered. Well met, my brother. Indeed, and these creatures known as the Zerg have no regard for the sanctity of life. Once we have secured this area, I shall tell you everything I know about them in council. I am sure the Matriarch will be eager to hear your tale as well. Executor, we have received a transmission from Raynor and Phoenix. They are still alive and are fighting to retake the warp gate on Ire. We must secure the gate on this side without delay. So the Zerg base we have to destroy, but we get Dark Templars now. Which is actually, uh, it, not only does it introduce the new tile set we get, it also introduces uh, the new unit we, that the Protoss got. And it, it would happen to be the Dark Templar. Uh, who can also turn into Dark Archons. Uh, this is actually a non-playable character, technically, in... Um, well, it, it kind of was, you could place it by the map editor, Dark Templars, because they were considered heroes, because they did actually exist in the first game, but they were never buildable in multiplayer, and they were never buildable at all, actually. Um, they were just kind of like, there, and there was a very limited amount of them. So I guess Blizzard found a way to kind of just balance them into the game, so permanently cloaked, they do a shit ton of damage. A lot. That's, that's probably one of their best things, like 40 damage, and they do it fast, too. Nothing, nothing to scoff at at all. Uh, but we're gonna get our little economy running here. So I did say I was gonna talk a bit more about the map editor, uh, but I'll do that in the next episode. So I'm not gonna go into that right now because we're nearing the end. I don't really know how I'm gonna organize uh, this at all, but you know, I guess I'll I'll find a way. But you know, overall, very very good game. So a lot of fun to play. It's it's like your typical RTS, uh, but it's this is I think regarded as like the time they, they balanced the shit out of this they took it very seriously the whole esports thing and all that and like brood war is considered to be one of the most balanced uh, uh rts games of all time it's still played competitively even today and i never forget to construct additional pylons now this thing i may have just fucked myself because i he's gonna have to make a little turn apparently every time he wants to go like harvest gas 
This poor probe. My, my FPS skills are... Well, no, <laughs> FPS. My RTS skills are a bit lacking right now, but that's okay. Yeah, let's, let's push up, because that's what I always used to do. Actually, uh, we'll leave, we'll leave, we'll leave these guys here. And, you know, the Dark Templar actually seemed like a very, very good, good idea in terms of a scouting party. So, yes, we do get the Dark Templar, and it requires Templar archives. Um, but, just like the Templars, the Dark Templar are actually gas-heavy as well. And your guess is as good as mine as to what they actually, why they actually use the gas. I think it's something to do with warping in. You know, that's the thing, you know, buildings and shit warp in from ire. That's how it works, like that's, they don't, they build, like the, the way that like warping in pylons and crap works is basically, they build it on ire, the probe puts a warp beacon down, and then like he's basically, war this is coming in from ire right now. How the fuck does it still work now? Because as far as I'm concerned, like, they probably destroyed the pylon shipyards or whatever the fuck that exists on IR, so... You know, your guess is as good as mine where that's coming from. It's coming from a black hole or some shit. They've harnessed the power of dark matter. I don't even know. It's, it's one of those little interesting little things I never quite understood. Might as well make a shield battery. The thing that is always underappreciated. You can, you can still set rally points with uh, one click. Okay, what's over here? Can I can I kill him? Oh yeah, oh yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, uh, oh, oh, there we go. Delicious. Might as well. It's like the easiest kills ever. You know, if there's gonna be oh shit, there's a detector. Take it out. Take it out. Good. Bob the Dark Templar didn't have to die. Uh oh. You're fucking pissed at me now. I want my expo. Yeah, let's go build some Zolots just because uh, I'm no longer confident in my own ability to defend my base. Uh, okay, so we can get Robotics Bay. Damn. You know, I, I think that we should get Dark Templar. You know, that should be the theme of this mission. This mission is all about the Dark Templar. Our new, our new friends that just arrived. Because that's, that's exactly what you guys want to see me make right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, not the assimilator. Luckily, this is this is a sizable enough force of uh, zealots. Oh, well, there you go. There goes that zealot. The first to die on this, this horrible planet. This planet smells. Well, we'll just look around with the, the Dark Templar a bit more. Hopefully they won't kill me. Don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh god. There's no sign of Phoenix or Rainer. They must still be on air. Okay, this is I'm I'm falling back. You know, I see a guy right here, so we're just gonna wait right around him. My guys will kill him eventually. Uh, I wonder if that's an optimal gas. The gas always is farther than the other shit. Should probably like actually start taking this building stuff seriously. Bro, like you know, the probes are still cute to this day. Okay, so this is actually buildable terrain. I was wondering about that, and we're gonna need to make a pylon. Oh god, we lost we lost the Dark Templar. Retreat, fall back. Uh, we'll just make some more shit. That's okay. So wait, can I even make? I can apparently even make. Uh, I can still make stuff, mostly because I just lost a guy. So. Oh well. Well, you know, I think I'm gonna finish it off on that, and so next time we'll continue and we'll assault the Zerg base. So uh, let's go build up an army. See you later. Bye.